I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continue to be in my mouth. What's going on, everybody? I pray all is well with all my brothers and sisters around the world. It don't matter who you are, what color you are, where you at. May the Lord bless you. Um, just a real talk video. I'm going to answer a few questions in this video. My title now says, Why You Gotta Keep Telling People You Are a Christian? And I know this is a touchy subject. And uh, let me give a shout out to my man Lance and uh, my sister. Um, Cara 3801 uh, now let me say this off top to the Christians uh, I love you no disrespect toward nobody uh, but y'all know me I like to tell the truth and um, calling yourself Christian does not put you in heaven you know and anytime you see something that's real it's always something that's fake what am I saying you actually have real Christians and then you actually have fake Christians, you know. So to answer these questions in this video, I need some of y'all, y'all know who y'all are, to put your feelings to the side. Because this is not about what you're feeling um, in this video. Your feelings don't get you into heaven. Your works, man, we can go on and on about this. Because the reason why I'm saying that because I'm not going to tell you something to make you feel good. I'm not on her to make you feel good. I'm on her. I'm on her to tell the truth. So put your feelings to the side for a moment because I'm gonna tell you what you need to hear, and not what you want to hear. And if you, you want to hate me after this video? Go right ahead. And, and you know you can jump on the list with everybody else that hate me. But I love you. Now, if you saw the video I did called "I'm Not a Christian," then this one's gonna make sense to you. It's gonna really make a lot of sense to you. But once again, we not down to nobody. We rightly divide this because a lot of people call themselves Christians and then a lot of people don't call themselves Christians according to what happened at Antioch, in Antioch and why they were called Christians. You'll hear people say, I don't call myself that. Just like me, I don't walk around telling people all day long, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. I, I do this, I'm a Christian. Because real talk, people that call themselves Christians, not everybody, but the majority of people who call themselves Christians Ain't nothing Christ-like about them. Yeah, they go to church. They do all that stuff. You know, sing in the choir. But once again, not everybody. But check out the lifestyle. Check out how they really live. And you'll see that a lot of people just calling themselves Christians nowadays. Now, this touchy topic here uh, to the Christian folks. I say it like this all the time. Why... Do you have to keep going around broadcasting that you are a Christian? Why? Now, uh, my sister, you know who you are that asked me about doing this video. Let me say this. Holy and die people do this a lot. I'm not talking about everybody once again. But if you always got to walk around saying that you are a Christian, and it's not showing something wrong with that picture. Why doesn't your actions match up? See, I'm reminded of some of my big brother, Mitty Man, I always say, we can make our mouths say anything, but where are your actions? You know what I love when I be walking in certain places and I see people having a beautiful conversation and then want to bust up and say, you know what? You must be a child of God. You must be a Christian. I can tell because you always write your mind. You don't never, you know, talk bad about people. You always forgiving people. You always helping people. So you must, you must be connected to the Lord. And that person that they talking about ain't not once said that I am a Christian. So once again, don't let this title scare you when I say why you gotta keep telling people you are a Christian. Isn't it amazing that Jesus never walked around talking about he was a Christian, nor the disciples. None of them even call themselves Christians. When you when you really study on why they were called Christians and who called them Christians, then you really understand this video. It's not about what you're calling yourself, y'all. See, this heart says a lot. The heart. Actions speak louder than words. It's just like when you go to Facebook. Um, mostly everybody I know, they go to Facebook just to call themselves a Christian just to try to quote scriptures and look holy until they get offline. Some of y'all don't want to say amen because some of y'all don't want to do that. And, and the thing is, 
it's always somebody want to stand out front, you know, and, and look holy because, oh, I know a scripture or two. I, I can quote this. I can quote that. But then they turn around and live a totally different lifestyle of what they quote. Y'all, let me tell you something out of love. This is why we have so many unsaved people thinking right now that they are saved. Because, oh, I've been saved, but I've been in church all my life. I know. Oh, I feel like I'm saved. I, I do good things for people. I, I know I'm a good person. I got religion. I've been going to church all my life. Calling yourself a Christian don't see me. I mean, y'all. See, you can, reason why I say this, you can look good on the outside. You can really look good. You can actually fool people sometimes. But once, what we talked about in that video of heart and the heart, you can't fool the most high. Because he looks at that heart. You can look good all you want, but you can be messed up on the inside. That was the problem with the Pharisees in the Bible. They, oh, they look, they want to look so good on the outside, they out of appearance, but their heart was far from being right, y'all. But once again, the Lord knows the heart. You know what, I, I want, I want to say something. Because this is just a thought. I wonder if right now, just, just feel me with this. I wonder if right now, if we all died at the same time right now, who would end up where? Who would be in paradise and who would be in hell? Think about it. Think about the church you go to, the people on your job, you, yourself, your family members, your children, everybody that you know, including yourself. If we was all to just be struck dead right now, how many of us would sit on paradise side or how many of us would be on, on, on our way in hell like the rich man and uh, the rich man in St. Luke? That's something to think about. Why am I saying it? Because look at how many people are trusting in tradition and religion. They title they stuck on. You in bad shape. If you stuck on how long you've been going to church, you in you in bad shape. Satan's been going to church longer than all of us. See, we are warned in the Bible not, not to base our salvation on, on our good works. Satan is deceiving so many, y'all. Most people, once again, that call themselves Christians, look at their lifestyle. It's something uh, my brother P.P. Drawing said on here in the older video we did about Christianity. P.P. Drawing's made a statement saying that not once God told any of us to be Christian for he is Christian. He said, but God did say, be ye holy for I am holy. Calling yourself a Christian once again or being called a Christian don't make you a follower of Christ. Why? Because we got all these fake ones out here. But once again, there are true Christians out here. Calling yourself a Christian or being called a Christian that won't save you from the lake of fire. They called the follower of Jesus Christians because they were Christ-like. That's what you see when you study on Antioch. But let me throw something else at you. Most of these church folks today, all of us that's claiming to be Christians with all this, I'm so saved and sanctified and you live in a messed up lifestyle. Most of these Christians today wouldn't have been called a Christian back in those times. They wouldn't have been. Because those Christians back then was truly living and truly being persecuted for the name. P.P. Drawing, I'm reminded of something else you said again, brother. He said, why do you think those Christians overseas right now are truly being persecuted, tortured, raped, kidnapped? He said, because those Christians over there are truly a threat to Satan. But these Christians over here where we are, not everybody once again, are not even a threat to, to, to Satan. You know why? Because of the lifestyle. I'm a homosexual Christian. Satan loves that. I'm a getting high, getting drunk Christian. I'm a whoring around Christian. Satan loves that. No truly repentance. Satan loves that. Why? Because everybody calls themselves a Christian now. 
I'm a dope dealer, you know what I'm saying, but I'm a Christian. And I understand that statement, PP Drawings, and I agree with you, man, a million percent. Those true Christians are the ones being raped and kidnapped and tortured, beheaded for the gospel. Gotta, gotta go underground somewhere just to try to even have a service while we got all these six or seven churches on one street and can't even get along. We ain't no threat to Satan because most of us are already on his team. See, this is real, y'all. And and I pray. Y'all know I pray for everybody. But I also know everybody ain't going to be saved. I also know some, some of my family members ain't going to make it in. I hope they're looking at this video. I pray for them all the time. But the reason why I say that because they don't want to repent. You got people calling themselves Christians with a reprobated mind. This is real, y'all. So when I go back to this title, why you got to keep telling people you are a Christian, most people I know that do that because they are not sure who they truly serve. Because let me tell you something. How many times do you hear me come on here and say, hey, y'all, I'm a Christian? When I'm out here in the world, in these streets, at work, you don't hear me not once going around calling myself a Christian. Is that wrong not to do that? No, it's not wrong. Because I understand that it's my heart. Now, when somebody asks me, what are you, JT? Are you Baptist? Are you Pentecostal? Are you Kajic? Are you AME? Are you CME? Are you Methodist? Are you Presbyterian? I mean, what are you? I simply tell them, I'm a child of the Most High. I leave it at that. I say, Paul said, one faith, one Lord, one baptism. That's who I am. I leave it at that. I am a servant. You want to call me anything? I tell people, I'm a servant. I am a true believer. That's what I say. I am a believer. I don't have nothing against Christians. But I understand everybody ain't no Christian. I understand everybody ain't serving the Lord. Most of these church folks, man, today, once again, they wouldn't have been called Christians back then. They would have been called devil worshipers. <laughs> Some of y'all will catch that. And then the Bible says many are going to come saying that they are the Christ. It's a whole lot I see in that. They are the Christ. What's the first part of Christian? Christ. Then you see the I-A-N. That's why I have to agree so much. And let me give a shout out to my beautiful sister, Sister B. Jackson. A lot of people got mad at that statement she made on, on a comment she made on one of my older videos because Sister, sister B. Jackson said, worship is a lifestyle. And praise is a relationship. But most of us don't understand that. I do. She does. A lot of y'all do. A lot of us don't. I'm not going to say everybody don't understand it. Because true worship, once you understand your personal relationship with the Father, it ain't got nothing to do with how many days you go to church. What all you involved in. It's personal. But most Christians, they think that Christianity, oh man, it's, it's all about Oh, brother, how long we hold a song? How long we hoop and holler and preach? How much money we take up? How many anniversaries we have? How many musicals we have? How many revivals we have? And we always talking about bring, oh, man, make sure you bring all these folks to the revival. Revival ain't for an unbeliever. How you going to tell somebody re to be revived that ain't never been vibed up before? <laughs> the revival is supposed to be for the, the so-called Christians we talking about in this video. That's why I want to say so-called, because everybody that's called itself a Christian is not bad. Every minister that's preaching in the gospel is not bad. Every musician is not bad. Every deacon is not bad. Every child of God is not bad. But it's this thing about, I'm a Christian now, is what's making so many of uh, it's, it's, it's these fake Christians that's making it look so terrible for the real Christians. If you are a true child of God, you are a true Christian, you follow the Lord, may the Lord bless you. But all this entertaining, going to church to be entertained, all this mess, they don't have nothing to do with the Lord, y'all. I'm just being real. I'm going to say something real bold right here. Because if you catch what Jesus said on that day, many going to be saying, Lord, didn't we not prophesy in our name? Didn't we not cast our demons in our name? And he going to turn around and tell them, depart from me, I never knew you. You work of iniquity. Let me tell you something. Don't you know it's people going to hell through the church? 
Oh, I know that hurt. But truth hurt, y'all. I'm going to say that one more time as I end this video. Don't you know it's people going to hell through the church? This is why you got so many Christians keep rededicating their life every Sunday. Same man getting back in the church all the time. Same one. I'm rededicating my life back to Christ now. And then they, they done messed up again three months later. And then they coming back another time trying to keep rededicating. I'm re you, you rededicating your life again? How many times do the Lord got to save you, deliver you? Like the Lord don't have enough power the first time. Can we keep it real, y'all? Quit using grace and mercy as a license to sin. So we're going to go ahead and end this video, y'all. May the Lord bless you. I know I have said some things to hurt some feelings, but your blood ain't going to be on my hands, y'all. Now, as we end, if we're going to pray, why worry? And if we're going to keep worrying, why pray? Y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. Peace out.